What's up, everybody? Jonathan Nightmare, and today we're going to be talking about Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Now, we're going to be talking about the Japanese version, which I'm very excited for because I actually do love the Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot, to be really honest with you all. I like the model of it, so that's what I want to talk about. Now, when the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for the, the Japanese version one was revealed about, I would say, a week ago or two and a half weeks ago, I think it was like in the middle of the month when it was first revealed, it was letting everybody, all the Japanese gamers know that Crash Bandicoot was on his way to Japan, which is good. Now, the only difference is, it has a different release date. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy will not be released to Japan until August 3rd. So, now that brings up a lot of questions, like, why is the release date pushed that far instead of being released on the same day. Well, I think it's because they're gonna try and make a few changes to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for Japan. Well, there's not gonna be like not much, not much major change. However, when I was playing the Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot, uh, the PS1 versions, the only difference is is two things. One, Uncle Uncle talks to you when you begin the first game. Yeah, crush you. What you are, Uncle Uncle, yeah. And number two, when the crystals were first shown, they were not called crystals in the Japanese version. They were called power stones. And the nitros were just, you know, I pictured, well, I think it translates to nitro. I think this has, you know, it's a Japanese text, so I believe it translates to nitro. And the TNT boxes just have a picture of a bomb on it. Of course, there could be some more changes. I just probably don't don't remember. Maybe that was maybe that was the only changes they made in the Japanese version of the PS1 versions. I mean, who knows? I didn't really get too far in the Japanese versions, so it's pretty hard, to, you know, to explain. But those are the only difference I know that's in the Japanese version, of the PS1 version of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which are going to do the same thing with the Insane Trilogy. Now. What is now the question is this what is going to be different in this in the Japanese trilogy one? Well, to my to my uh, opinion about this one, buddy, I think the only difference going to be changed is probably Crash is model. That I don't know why, but that's what I'm thinking in my head. I think that's the only change they're going to make in the trilogy. If that is true, that will make me very happy. Because to be honest with you all, I actually love the Japanese model of Crash more than the American version, to be straight up honest with everybody. Ever since I played the Tag Team Racing one, with, um, I forgot what it was called, Crash Bandicoot, Giko, Gano, something world, I actually forgot the name of it. But, but that in that version, that is the only ver Japanese version that has the Japanese model of Crash Bandicoot as a playable character. So there could be possibility that the Insane Trilogy could have that one. Maybe that's why, that's why the trilogy was pushed that far. So that they, that way, the developers like carries vision. They, so that way, they have some more time to work on it. They just finished doing it for the worldwide one. They said now they're gonna work on the Japanese version because they would have to look back at the PS1 version, and play it, and see what they need to do for the Japanese version for the Japanese audience. And but it's probably gonna be more challenging because. The, because if you play the Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot, the first one, you remember that um, in the American version, the boss fights only had three bars, but in the Japanese version, it had four bars. So which means is they probably make it more harder for the for the trilogy. I don't know. There was not really much update, but however, there are two um two images that were released so far. They released first. They released the art box first. Then they released the wallpaper one. This is the only we got so far. So there's not really much to say about the Japanese Insane Trilogy. If this is as since those are the only changes they're gonna make, then I don't know if what's the point of pushing that far. If you're just gonna change the picture on the bombs, and change the texture on the nitros, have Agu Agu talk to you like he does in the three ones, then it shouldn't take you that long. Should push it till next month, but like I said, it could be a possibility that it could change change Crash's model. If if because maybe that's why they need more time because that's why they probably want to change Crash's model, to change it to a Japanese look. But we don't know yet until we get more updates on the Japanese version. For right now. 
Disney Trilogy is almost out, guys. I mean, only five more days, and at that, it's released. I'm actually gonna try to get it early. I'm gonna ask GameStop if they are doing a midnight release, which I believe they are gonna do a midnight release for the trilogy. If they are, I'm definitely gonna go on that midnight release. But the sad part is that I won't be able to play it because I work at night, so... However, I did request Friday off, so I'll be playing the day after I get out of work. Once I get out of work, zoom, right into the game. Because I've been waiting for this game when it was first announced. Back at Sony's E3 of last year, when they announced that Skyrealm, not Skyrealm, sorry. I mean, Skylander, when they said Crash Bank was going to be in it, I had the figures. But I don't have the game because I really care much, don't care much for Skylanders. I just wanted the Crash Bandicoot figures. But anyways, when they when after that, they announced saying that they're remastering all the three Crash Bandicoot trilogies. Which is fantastic. Now, when that was announced, I waited so patiently. Look at uh, these gameplays when they revealed these. My heart was beeping so fast that I just cannot wait for the trilogy. I waited so patiently for this game. And it's finally coming out. This is it, guys. The week we've been waiting for. This is the final week, and after that, this Friday is the release date. So, guys, I want to share this update with you. As you know, here are the images so far I want to show you. This is the art box, and this is the wallpaper. The only change is is the texture and Crash Bandicoot's looks. That was basically it. Nothing new to show. So, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little update on the Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot. If you are planning to get the Japanese version of Crash Bandicoot, such as me, leave it in the comments below if you're looking forward to see what other differences. I am going to do a gameplay of it like I usually do. So, everybody, let's keep, let's just, just sit down really patiently, count down the days. All I can do is, all you can do is just sit down patiently. Don't look at, don't, actually, matter of fact, don't look at the day at all. Don't look at the time. If you feel like you feel like it's been longer, then look at the time and date. Because we are counting down. The countdown begins.